So this is second part. My the video got cut off. The first part. So I'm doing the second part now. And uh, collect the sodium from the river. Sodium and potassium, I believe. So here, a bit of water there. Calcium. This is nitrate, nitrate, nitrate. Two ways of uh, calculating nitrogen for this meter. Uh, there is nitrate as nitrate and nitrate as nitrogen. And now let's go with the pH. Ten parts per million potassium, eight parts per million sodium, sixty five parts per million calcium, nitrate is nine parts per million, 
as nitrate pH is exactly 7 very interesting and total dissolved solids is 227 227 parts per million a little bit high rain yesterday let me check the uh, potassium again it's the standard 150 ppm standard So 150 ppm potassium standard is reading 140 ppm, which is close. So that reading is quite close, the initial reading. Two twenty-seven, seven fifteen, eight. 65, 8, and so sodium it's 8, 65 for calcium, nitrate it's 8 ppm, pH is 715, 227 for total dissolved solids or TDS, and uh, potassium of course we were checking with this. 150 ppm, so initially it was uh, and hit Cal again, Cal 150 ppm, so we are calibrating it at 150 ppm if potassium is high as we see it uh, relatively high Normally it's very low. It's probably the rain washing a lot of uh, water from yesterday into the river and giving it a lot of potassium. All the agricultural fields which have just been harvested. So now it's reading 4 ppm and it's not really going up. So I would say between 4 and 10 ppm or 4 and 9 ppm potassium. So the Red Lake River in East Grand Forks, Minnesota.